uh, as you think, as, as I think you know, one of the things that I am attempting to do is see if you can live a happier life. Uh, sometimes when I don't know what to do, uh, I do what I know will at least calm my system down. Uh, we live in the middle of ski country in Switzerland. Uh, if uh, my system is in turmoil, if my mind is being so relentless that I can't get out of it, I go do something I want to do. And uh, Yesterday, uh, I was in quite a bit of turmoil, and uh, my daughter is here. Uh, she leaves in a few days to go uh, to work in Italy. Uh, but uh, I finished some chores, and I said, look, I'm going skiing. Do you want to go? And she said, meh. I said, I know it's not a great day. And she said, okay, let's go. And we went skiing yesterday. I'm sorry about that buzz in the background, that little humming noise. I hope it's not too distracting. I don't notice it all the time, but I do hear it getting obnoxious. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we went skiing, and it was one of the most unusual days we ever skied. It was flat. It was fast. Visibility was good, so you could go as fast as you wanted to. And uh, at the end of the day, we both sat and laughed and thanked each other for uh, making each other go skiing because we're in both lighter, happier spirits. Uh, if I'm near the water, I go swimming. Uh, I love oceans. I love getting out in the ocean. And But today, uh, we went skiing, and the first gondola you get on can have as many as 100 people. There's, there wasn't that many on it today. It was about half full. And I was looking around the gondola, and I saw a man with a... The, the Brits are here. <laughs> and, and they wear some of the wildest get-ups when they uh, ski. They just seem to have fun with it. And Bert or Oscar from Sesame Street was on the top of a man's head uh, as a hat. And it was the Sesame Street character above here. And then he had yellow rimmed glasses on. And I kind of looked at him, was entertained, and looked away. And I looked back at the man, and, and we made eye contact. And it brought up so much in my system. Uh, I tried to tell my daughter to look in the corner to see um, who she was seeing, and it took me a minute to compose myself. I'm okay with crying, but I'm going to crowd a gondola, and I'm not going to... But I, I finally took a couple of breaths, and I said to her, I said, look in the corner and see who's standing in the corner. When the doors to the gondola opened up, I walked out, and I turned around, and she started laughing. She said, oh, my God. And uh, they're standing in the corner, and I didn't talk to the man. I... I don't know if it's courage or what, um, or just I didn't want to break the reality, break the dream, but uh, was standing Stuart Weinsberg. Uh, Stuart was a client of mine for a lot of years, a chiropractor. Uh, we had skied together uh, in this resort. Uh, I was telling my daughter when we got to the restaurant, we had lunch in a restaurant. I said, you know, Stuart and I came here. He bought. He said he was going to buy me lunch one day, and we skied away without him paying. So the next day when I got here, the owners reminded me that we hadn't paid. So I called him in England and thanked him for taking me to lunch. <laughs> but he had this quirky sense of humor, loved telling uh, stupid jokes, uh, loved to laugh, um, and loved honest feedback. Uh, we were at an event in Italy, and his daughter was young, and I watched... Uh, Whatever toy another child picked up, her daughter would run over and grab it and take it away. And it was upsetting a lot of the other kids. They were all her toys because he knew this uh, network chiropractic event and, and brought toys. And, and uh, he came up to me and he said, you know, by the way, if you're seeing anything that I need feedback on, I said, I am. And I said, thanks for noticing and thanks for coming over here. I said, every time one of the other kids picks up the toys, and I know they're all your daughters, I said, but she goes over and she takes it away. I said, the rule in our house is if somebody picks up a toy, it's theirs until they're done playing with it. And that's just the way, because then, it, you know what I mean? It says, okay, they play with it, they'll get done with it, the kid will get the toys back. And he said, what do I do? I said, well, when she does it, put her in timeout and explain the rules. Tell her that the rules are different here because there are so many kids here and she has to share her toys. And he followed through with the rule. And it was quite soothing to all the kids at the event as the weekend went on. But it was a delight to see Stuart again today. He's been off the planet for a while. And it was, a, like I said, a shocking delight. Have a fun day.
www.micpeoplefans.com.